G'day everyone, Half Keldorai Bard here. I have reappeared once again. That's what I do. That's my thing. So let's get into the video, shall we? Today, I'm going to talk about something a little different. Well, it's not different. I'm pretty sure everyone has talked about it. I'm just late to the party, as always. But hey, you do know what they say. Better late than ever, hey? WoW's leveling experience seems pretty dated. I mean, imagine being a new player and you pop into Exile's Reach and then suddenly you're sent to Battle for Azeroth. You've got no idea who these characters are, why they're calling you the champion, but you're there anyway. You, you, you're tossed in to this new world that you have absolutely no idea about and you're being called the greatest champion since fucking... You know what I mean? You have a whole bunch of these abilities that you don't really know what they do. You just read them and you're like, oh, that seems pretty cool. Oh, oh yeah, I've got another ability. I've got another ability. Holy shit, I'm eating way too much. What the fuck's going on here? Point being, it's a little overwhelming. Unless you have someone there to help you guide your way through it, you're kind of going to be lost really quickly. And with plenty of experience getting lost myself, IRL of course, not in the game, because honestly I know the game like the back of my hand. It's just not really fun getting lost, if you know what I mean. You get bored really easily, so you just want to stay at home and do something else. That's not what we want here in WoW. We want to draw in new people, fresh faces. Come on, let's get some new blood in. So let's start unpacking the current level experience and seeing how we can improve it. First of all, leveling in general. You start in Exile's Reach, which is in my opinion, is already beginning to start showing its age. I honestly can't stand it anymore. The dialogue seems very simple. Ah, oh, I'm going to raise the dragon from the dead. Yeah, you're going to raise the dragon from the dead, like, oh my god. You learn your abilities, you sort of get a basic rundown of how your class works, and you really get the basic fantasy of what faction you really serve. You don't really know about the various races that are part of that faction. It's like, ah, you're your alliance. We fight with honor. We didn't leave no man behind. Ah, we're Horde. We are going to find our lost warriors and bring them home. And blood and honor and all that. Very bare bones. That really doesn't give any of the races or your class that much justice. Then suddenly, you're tossed into battle for Azeroth. Or by the time the war within comes out, you're going to be tossed immediately into Dragonflight. You're kind of sent on this expedition, but still, people are going to often call you the champion and things like that. I mean, it's already quite a bit overwhelming because now you're thrusted into the new content and you've only really got the bare bones of the sort of story that you're supposed to expect. Trying to navigate it around the world while also gaining new abilities, like, at breakneck speed, that's gonna be, uh, fucking daunting for most people. Because it's fast, 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 fast. Everything comes at you super fast. Especially in an MMO, people kinda need to slow down and sort of evaluate the terrain. Smell the roses, so to speak. You've also got a very bare-bones experience of how a dungeon should be played out. That being said, credit to Blizzard where credit is due, they've added follower dungeons, which goes a long way in helping a new player sort of navigate how a dungeon works. They can go at their own pace, without the stress of another player trying to force them to go 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 as fast as they can. Because admittedly, one thing about us WoW players is whenever we do content like dungeons or raids, we tend to be a bit impatient when it comes to group content. You expect everyone, no matter how new they are, to rush as fast as they can 
that gotta go fast mentality. Not everyone's gonna be able to do that. Now, yes, you pay the game just as much as I do and anybody else does, but come the fuck on. Like, slow down. Give the new guy a break. They are trying to learn. Like, I'm sorry that you started during Warlords of Draenor and the fucking tank literally drilled you a new asshole because you were new and you had to go uber fast beyond anything that you've ever done before or you were kicked from the group. I'm sorry that you've had to experience that trauma. That doesn't mean you have to invoke that trauma upon another person. I had to do it, therefore they have to do it. We have to break the cycle, guys. Break that cycle. We gotta be polite, be nice, kind to each other. Man, if we haven't heard being kind to each other far too much. But yeah, you know what? Kindness goes a long way. The point being is we're going a little bit too fast for the new player. I think we need a more slowed down processing experience. A completely separate leveling experience for the new player. That's why, and I've seen it suggested many times before, why not do a streamlined expansion expansion leveling experience. So, sort of like Chromie Time, except it's literal story and it basically summarizes the storyline of World of Warcraft from its beginning all the way up until the modern expansion. So you say start in um, like a semi-classic mode, like, ah, this is the world of Azeroth. Go up, take a look around. Ah, this is your starting zone. This is the human kingdom of Stormwind. Go around, take a look. See if you go over here, they have a bit of a kobold problem. Just local problems, easier than that. Why don't you go help them? And then, after you're done helping them with the cobalt problem, they're like, Hey, listen, you look like you've got potential. However, we kind of need you on the field as fast as we can. So, we've brought in our expert bronze dragon, Kuromi, or Nosdormu, or whatever, to come and sort of teach you the history of our world. You're going to be going through pivotal moments in the history of Azeroth and that should catch you up and give you the skills needed to battle what is to come. Then you go through the Burning Crusade, you learn a little bit about the Burning Legion, the Corrupted Orcs, the yeah just every little tidbit like of each um the, yeah the Arakoa. You're just learning a little bit of each one like say each expansion is maybe about two hours of content for the new player that's fine it's gonna be nice and slow they're sort of learning getting a handle of their skills in fact add a little bit of a uh, racial law behind that stuff you've got the draenei and the blood elves that were introduced in the burning crusade bloody uh, give, give them a bit of their lore in there yeah you learn a bit of that you want to be more like a rogue, get into the fantasy of it, add a bit of rogue lore while you're there, add a little warrior lore, death knight lore, etc, etc. Then you go through two hours of the Burning Crusade, two hours of Wrath, two hours of Kata, two hours of Pandaria. Bear in mind, two hours is just a sort of a rough idea. I believe it's nice and slow. I believe it's easy enough for the player to get into. It's meant to be a slow experience, introducing you, getting you up to date with the story and learning your new class. It's not meant to be a like rush, 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 get you into the new content immediately. It's sort of experience. But if two hours is too long, we could always shorten it. One and a half hours, one hour, who knows? But can't be too fast. You gotta give the player some time to really smell the roses, really get used to this new world. Then, after they're done, after they've learnt everything, they're ready for the new expansion. They've learnt what they needed to learn, they sort of got a basic idea of how their class go it goes, and they need to know what the story was like leading up to this. Now, they're ready to go in. It's pretty easy, right? That seems pretty reasonable. Now, 
Let's look in to the recurring player leveling experience. Oh, did you think this was for just the new player? No, we need to talk about the recurring player experience. Because, let's face it, leveling can be kind of shit. I mean, the faster sort of let's get you up to max level immediately is pretty good. And hell, Mr. Pandaria time running. Excellent idea, honestly. That's great. If you want to experience the story of Mr. Pandaria in its fullest form, yeah, there you go. You've got, we've got a, um, ourselves a solution to leveling through different expansions if you want to experience the full story. That's awesome. But we need a modern day story for the new, for the recurring player who already knows about everything, who sort of knows what it's all like, but wants a bit of a different experience. Again, you get the new player experience option, you get the go back through an old expansion story option, or you could do um, Chromie Time, but I'm also thinking an origin storyline. So when I mean origin storyline, let's say you're a night elf, you're going to start off in Velameth or something like that. But you don't have just that choice of starting in Velameth. You have a choice of starting in pretty much just about wherever you want, except for the opposite faction cities. Let's say you are, you choose your origin. You're an outlaw or you're a mercenary working for Booty Bay. You're going to end up starting in Booty Bay and you'll be given your own your own origin quest line while also doing some stuff earning renown in booty bay and it doesn't have to be exclusive to just um you know generic outlaw like your outlaw or mercenaries let's say you're a druid you can get yourself a class origin story you start as a druid of the scenarian circle you're starting in moonglade and that is where your quest line begins it's a little bit faster and you're learning and I imagine it will be a little bit shorter than I would say the rest of the other quest lines, but it's extra content. It's learning a little bit more lore about your class or about the fantasy of being an outlaw, a soldier for your faction, for your race. You just have various different origin points of which you can start from and then you just level from there you have your own unique mini arc for your character and every time you log into a new character that mini arc changes it's a little bite of story to eat especially for us experienced players who just want to learn a little bit more about the story or want to try something a little bit different seems reasonable to me but yeah pretty much a new modern experience evolving with the times you know because wow is constantly changing and as much as we like to say we can go back to how simple it was back in the day it's just not going to work that way especially in our retail in various other versions of the game seasons of discovery and classic you can experience the old game via that point but here in the modern game it needs to evolve it needs to adapt with the times that is why professions need to be updated. I do think that the current iteration of professions is a little bit dated. And seeing what Blizzard can do with the sort of tech that they've got, especially things like the community cooking event or the or the archaeological event in the Azure Span, it goes to show that if done right, professions like cooking or archaeology could actually be their own little mini games. But that's a completely different topic for another video. That being said, if you could change or update the leveling experience, what would you do? I want to see what you think. So say what you will in the comment section below. And if you like this video, do give this a like, give us a subscribe if you're new to the channel and ring that bell for new content because the more of you that get in on this shit, the easier for me it's going to be to make a new video. So yeah, let's fucking smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, and just comment. Let's get the discussion going. 
how would you change the leveling experience? I am genuinely interested. If your idea is legit amazing, fuck it. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. Let's do some fucking Q&As. Absolutely. All right, guys. That's it for now. I am going to disappear probably for the next two weeks. Although I will try super hard to get back in a little bit sooner than that. Anyway, catch you later guys. Have a good one.